Did that break in? Dear ah. Esther. Nope. I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome break services. Whoa. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Bro, what? Look at this. I was going to the lighthouse. I thought that was the fastest way, but now, like, I'm, I'm over here. Whoa, there's a... There was a person up there, man. There was a person on that fucking ridge. I know. Oh, my God. I'm losing my shit. There's a person over there. I, I fucking saw a person on that ridge. Ah. Uh. Oh wait, why am I going away from the... I want to go the other way. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Because the lighthouse is that way. What does that say? Oh, it's just like a generic empty something something. I still, I swear I saw something on that fucking, on that ridge there. It was like a person walking. kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. That's nice of him. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. What? Huh. Like I said, this is this is a very uh, atmospheric game. Almost. Hey, look, house. Oh, look, houses. Multiple. A little cottage. All the way over here. I've begun my ascent on the windless slope of the western side. The setting sun was an inflamed eye squeezing shut against the light shone in by the doctors. My neck is aching through constantly craning my head up to track the light of the aerial. I must look downwards, follow the path under the island to a new beginning. Wait, under the island? Bro, I'm on top of the island. What do you mean? What do you mean under the island? What? Oh, there's another house. The Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. Hmm. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson, from oh, the lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. 
Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years Jesus. after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Oh, damn. Oh, more paint. What's this one of? It's another. It's just it's like a squid. Three cormorants seen at dusk. They did not land. This house built of stone, built by a long dead shepherd. Contents. My camp bed, a stove, a table, chairs, my clothes, my books. The caves that score out the belly of this island, leaving it famished. My limbs and belly, famished. This skin, these organs, this failing eyesight. When the battery runs out in my torch, I will descend into the caves and follow only the phosphorescence home. Oh, is that, is that what we're doing? Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to that fucking lighthouse. But there was some... Oh, it's like, this just looks like another... Looks like there's a light over there or something. Or a person. That's a fucking person. I fucking told you. Bro. Nope, ain't going that way. Nope, there's a fucking goddamn person over there. Another building with another sketch on it. Now this one just has arrows, though. Interesting. Oh, can I not climb up this way? Is there another way for me to do this? Nope. Oh, all right. Well, I guess I, uh, unless is it behind? Oh, hey, look. There's a little thing here. Carn stones. You stack stones on top of each other. Nope. All right. All right. Well, I guess I'm going down. Going down, down, in and in and There was person in that cave. Oh, I'm getting major fucking like agita feelings coming down here. Wait a minute. Is there? Is that a footpath to get over there? Hold up a second. That's what that kind of looks like, but I honestly don't know if I would be able to... Going down. See what happens. See what happens. Doesn't make much sense to me, this don't, but. In a footnote. Oh. The editor comments that at this point Donnelly was going insane as syphilis tore through his oh. system like a drunk driver. He's not to be trusted. Many of his claims are unsubstantiated, and although he does paint a colorful picture, much of what he says may have been derived directly from his fever. But I've been here, and I know, as Donnelly did, that this place is always half imagined. Even the rocks and caves will shimmer and blur with the right eyes. With the right eyes, excuse me, what? Bro, why does everything have to sound so horror-based? Hmm, yes, with the right eyes. They found Jakobsen in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves God and damn. had not even begun to decompose. 
He'd struggled halfway down the cliff path, perhaps looking for some lost goat, or perhaps in a delirium, and expired, curled into a claw right under the winter moon. Even the animals shunned his corpse. The mainlanders thought to bring it home unlucky. Donnelly claims they dragged it to the caves to thaw out and rot, but he is proving an unreliable witness. So far, I've seen this dude twice now, or whoever it is here that's been... Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. What the fuck was that noise that was going on halfway through that? Oh, I fucking hate caves. <clears throat> That's a... F Bro, how's a candle lit down here? Like, who lit that? Oh yeah, this this seems fine. Yeah, this seems fine. <laughs>